Have you ever wanted to turn your face into a spreadsheet? Well, you can. It's all here. Stay tuned on an all-new episode of Excel TV. Jordan Goldmeyer here, back with an all-new episode of Excel TV. Now, make sure before you do anything else, if you want to get awesome, cool Excel stuff like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell. And also remember, we have tons of free stuff. Go check it down in the description. You'll see lots of free stuff. And stay to the end because I'm gonna show you how you can turn your face into a bitmap. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to put your face or really put any image into that Excel spreadsheet. So over here, I'm on Excel TV. I got our old about page up here. I have this picture of my business partner, Rick Grantham. Doesn't he look good? What you can do is you can go ahead and take the image that you want and you can save it, so I've already done that. And once I've done that, I can go into MS Paint. I'm gonna to go to File, Open. And from the downloads, I'm gonna pick Rick right there. And the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna keep this old school, right? So I'm gonna just highlight. That's not highlight. Sorry, Rick, that wasn't any sort of anything personal there. So I'm gonna take his face, and I'm gonna hit Crop. And I'm gonna do this, this is very important, because when we put this in Excel, we're dealing with a uh, bitmap, so we're dealing with pixels. We wanna resize this to something very small. So in this case, you see it's 270 by 468. I recommend just taking something and making it super small. So that's pretty small there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit File, Save As. I'm gonna hit Bitmap here. Now you have multiple choices when saving in a bitmap. My tool can actually do a 24-bit bitmap. It's a little harder from a processing standpoint, but it's a lot less fun let's say, than a 256 color bitmap. So I'm gonna call that Rick 256, like that. I'll go ahead and hit save. It's gonna tell me the qual color quality is gonna be reduced. I don't care, that's fine by me. And I'm gonna go into Excel, and I'm gonna go ahead and click this shape to load your file. Don't worry, I'll have instructions over on the blog. I'm gonna click that there. It's gonna ask me where that file is. So Rick 256, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click that and you see it's going to start drawing him in so it's going to take a few seconds and i'm just going to sit back and relax and let it do its thing so once my picture is ready here's what i like to do i'm going to right click on paint area here and i'm going to go to move or copy we're going to hit create a copy and i'm going to put it in a new workbook i'll hit okay and from here i can go ahead and i can hit save as let's give it a nice descriptive name like daily expense report, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. We don't really care if it's a macro-free workbook. Now, one thing I really haven't done is gone through the code. Um, if you wanna take a look at the code, just check out the annotation on how. I have part of the code up here. You can see it's in the bitmap to Excel file. So I have part of it up here inside the module. I have the bitmap he header, the bitmap um, info header, and the palette, which will be important if you check out the Wikipedia article on how to build that, which I have down in the description. And then you can always just check, because I like to put my code inside the sheet modules themselves. Let me go to the paint area. You can always go into the paint area, that's where it's located, and take a look at the code as I've written it. This is very old. So if you ask me questions about it, I am unlikely to know the answers, but please go through and edit it and change it and do whatever you want with it. If you thought that was really cool, check out this classic Excel TV interview where we talk about all the crazy stuff Excel can do. And what do you think? Would you ever use this? What would you use it for? Tell us down below in the comments and make sure to check out all that free stuff. And until next time, keep on excelling.